recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, my colleague Congresswoman Kim and I rise today to honor the winners and participants of 2021's Congressional App Challenge. Since the competition's inception in 2013, this official initiative has given middle and high school students from across the country the ability to participate in a program designed to, to inspire them to pursue co computer coding and careers in STEM. Congresswoman Kim, Kim and I have had the privilege of shepherding this year's initiative, which yielded more than 2,100 fully functioning apps from over 7,000 students across the country. 340 of our fellow members held challenges in districts spanning all 50 states, Puerto Rico, Guam, the Mariana Islands, and the U.S. Virgin Islands, and Washington, D.C. As excited as we are about this year's participation in the, in the challenge this year in terms of sheer numbers, the program would not be possible without the students who invest their time and efforts into, the, into their passion projects. Congresswoman Kim and I are honored to co-chair this effort and offer our remarks here today as a testament to the dedication of these students who embody the future of American ingenuity. To the, all the winners of this year's competition, we, we offer our sincere gratitude and congratulations on your work. And Mr. Speaker, I would like to yield the floor to the distinguished gentleman from, woman from California, Ms. Kim. Hmm. Okay. Well, for what purpose does the gentlewoman from California seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I rise to address the House for one minute. Gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you. And I want to thank my colleague and co-chair from Virginia, Ms. Jennifer Waxton. I rise to recognize the participants and winners of the 2021 Congressional App Challenge. This is the largest app challenge to date. The App Challenge gives students of all backgrounds and from communities across the nation the opportunity to move from passive consumers of technology to active creators of technology. Coding and technological skills will only become more important in the economy of the future. These students blew us away by creating apps that would make a difference tackling real-world challenges and reflecting their commitment to making our world a better place. I want to thank and all, uh, offer my congratulations to all the students that participated this year, and I wish every single one of them best luck in their future endeavors. Thank you, and I yield back. General, 